eastbound Barnard from Sweet Applewood and come in for soon. A high-speed chase in Wisconsin ends in a deadly crash after the driver refuses to pull over and rushes off at speeds near 100 miles per hour. It's 88 miles an hour, road drive, no traffic. I just hope more can get fixed at college. Red at Packard and Ramsey, speeds 90 miles an hour, still southbound. The chase began in Cudahy, Wisconsin, just south of Milwaukee, on March 22nd. At the time, a Cudahy police officer attempted to pull over a vehicle for speeding and having a headlight out. Investigators learned later the driver was 23-year-old Justin Makila, who had a warrant out for his arrest for violating parole. All right, this guy's on the phone. He's still rolling. He's not putting it in park. It's just a slow roll. Officers say Makila was driving his girlfriend's vehicle. The girlfriend later told police she was on the phone as they attempted to pull him over. He called me and he's like, I'm four minutes, the police behind me. I'm like, just pull over, like, just pull over. I don't want my car to get totaled. Then he's like, the phone finna die. The phone died. I've been trying to call. So he was, he was on the phone with you when I initially stopped him? Yes. Okay, because I could see him on speakerphone. Dash camera video shows Makila pull the vehicle off to the side of the road and slow down, but the car never comes to a complete stop. Instead, he takes off. <laughs> All right, he's taking off on me. We are in the eastbound Barnard from Sweet Applewood and coming in for soon. Speeds at 45. The Cudahy officer continues to tail Makila as he speeds off. He's 88 miles an hour, road dry, no traffic. I just hope more can get fixed at college. Fred at Packard and Ramsey, speeds 90 miles an hour, still southbound. Meanwhile, additional officers join the chase. We are going to be eastbound Barnard from Sweetwood, coming in for soon. The chase lasts at least three minutes before officers lose sight of Makila. He either banged off east on Ross and went west through the park. All right, it looks like we've made lost eyes here. We're still on Chicago, we're crossing the Ross. And he either banged off. East on Ross and went west through the park. You left some uh, around that curve there, right? 10 3. Um, he had at least five blocks, or not five blocks, but about three blocks on me. Is that for you? Also, had a headlight out. Cudahy officials then call on South Milwaukee police officers for assistance finding the vehicle. 55th desk, can you do me a favor and call over to South Milwaukee. There was a South Milwaukee squad that was coming north on uh, Chicago and see if he saw anything. 10-4 contacting now. South Milwaukee officer, I couldn't hear you. Yes, just advise Cody when they call that we were checking the area. We have not seen uh, their vehicle that they were pursuing, but we are at, we do have squads checking the area. Meanwhile, officials work to confirm what type of vehicle they're searching for. Yes, it was a older model sedan, possibly a 90 series, um, maybe a Toyota. Four. I'm gonna have some, some pretty decent dash cam footage of it plate was in the rear window. You know for sure the first three was Adam Sam Union. The protege 2000 to the blue. I know it was dark in color. Uh, 
Uh, 28 came back to a 2000 Mazda four-door sedan, blue in color. Yeah, that's probably going to be it then. Because the vehicle belonged to Makila's girlfriend, officers meet up with her at an Airbnb where she's staying. I'm trying to figure out where's my car located at. You guys were just literally on, on a chase with my boyfriend, and he called me, saying the police is behind him. I'm like, just pull over. What's his name? Justin. Justin? What's yeah, his last name? Uh, Makila. He Makila? was in a, a Mazda. A, a, it's a um, Mazda what? 2000 Portage. It's, what color? Uh, like a dark blue. Do you know your license plate at all? Um, yes, I have it in my phone. I literally. Do you have our officers there? Yes. Um, I'm sorry, I can hang why, up. Why don't you hang up with her because she has other calls coming in, okay? Yes. Thank you. Sorry. Did he tell you where he was at? He told me he was four minutes. I heard polices and I heard my so car. I heard it coming from them ways. And I'm just telling him, just pull Chase over. Trail, Did he tell you where he was, though? No, he just told me I'm four minutes from oh. here. I'm four okay. minutes from here. 56 deaths. We have contacts with the registered owner. Officers explained they do not have her vehicle or know where her boyfriend is. Yep, that's the plate that we have to. So unfortunately, we don't have your boyfriend or the vehicle right now. Um, the best thing he can possibly do is, you know, come and talk to us. I just want my car. Okay. I just brought my car. It's my first car. I don't even care about him right now. I just want my all right, car. All right. Do you have your, do you have your, your, your boyfriend's like? Does he does he have a iPhone at all? Are you both to track his phone? No, I have a, um, I have his phone number, but it's just going straight to voicemail, straight to voicemail, straight to voicemail. I don't know why would he get in a pursuit with my car? It's my first right. car, my first car. Makila's girlfriend tells officers she asked her boyfriend to pull over while speaking to him on the phone. He called me and he's like, I'm four minutes, the police behind me. I'm like, just pull over, like, just pull over. I don't want my car to get totaled. Then he's like, the phone finna die. The phone died. I've been trying to call. So he was, he was on the phone with you when I initially stopped him? Yes. Okay, because I could see him on speakerphone. Oh, uh, so you okay. stopped him? Mm hmm Oh, okay, yes. He was on the phone with me. And I'm like, just pull over, like, just pull over. You're going to make it worse than what it is. Just pull over. Phone went dead. I really just want my car. It's my first car. That's the only thing I really have right now. My son. Like. Oh, right, but we, we can't really do anything for you with the car right now. You gave him permission to use it. Yes. And then he decided to take off. So I guess in the future, he probably doesn't use your car. No, right? no. But I'm sorry, sir. I, I'm at the point where if y'all take him, that's, that's okay. I just sure. want my car. No, I Because you that. don't do that type of stuff you're, in you're somebody's right. car. Like, you don't run from the police to nobody's car. It's my car. I paid my money for that car. You don't do that. I don't got nothing on my name. Nothing. Like, nothing. No, I understand that. But like I said, I just don't want it to escalate anything where anybody would get hurt. Okay? Yes, sir. Officials then ask why Makila may have run off. Did he tell you why he why he wasn't going to stop for me? No, I just said just pull over. I know he got some other stuff going on with his name, but I'm like, it might not be that deep. Like, just pull over. Well, really, I just really care about my car. Like, I don't need you to total my car, I'm trying to run from the police. Pull over. He, he, the phone went dead. Like, I heard like over this way, so I went around. Like, let me see if I can find find the police, see his car. But it was too everywhere. I don't know where I'm really at, so I didn't want to go too far from the Airbnb because my baby is in there asleep. Yeah. Is there a reason why he wouldn't stop for me? He got some stuff. Like, I think he got like some stuff on his name or something. Some warrants. Some warrants. So maybe that's why he didn't want to stop. But I told him you could just stop. I know when we got pulled over, um, not too long ago, the police was okay. Like they they let him up. Like maybe if you just talk to them or something. I don't think if the warrant is that big. Maybe go in for a couple months type of warrant. But it's like okay, that's okay. I, like. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I appreciate you being really cooperative with us. This goes a long way. All right. And I will do everything in my power to, to, to you know, get your car back to you, okay? But in the next half hour, the vehicle is discovered in South Milwaukee after crashing over an embankment and landing in the water below. If you don't want to be in the photo here. <laughs> Go ahead. 
Can you do me a favor and send a photo of the driver to my website? Ten four. Thank you so much. Yeah, before I fall. <laughs> Officials say Makila was killed in the crash. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.